Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Andres from Graphic Bible, and on today's video, we're gonna make this beautiful grocery bag, and we're gonna work on Adobe Illustrator. And let's see if we can complete it in less than five minutes. So let's get it started. Okay, guys. So the first thing that we're gonna do is the paper bag. And we're gonna use the rectangle tool first, so you can find it up here, or you can press M on your keyboard. So click and drag to create the rectangle. And if you want to use the same colors as me, you can download the project file on the description. Okay, then we're gonna duplicate this square, so just press Ctrl C or Command C on Mac, and then press Ctrl F or Command F on Mac, and this will paste in place in the same place. Okay, for the next step, we're gonna use the blend tool to create this effect. So to create the triangle, we're gonna go to the rectangle tool and then click on start tool. And make sure that the number of sides is three and click OK. Okay, let's rotate it. And if you hold down shift, it will move in 45 degree angle. So that's what we want. And adjust the size a little bit. Duplicate it and hold it down all and chip at the same time okay now so let's use the blend tool so press w on your keyboard and then click the first one and the last one and it will create this uh, effect and you can adjust the number of triangles that you want you just have to double click the the icon on the left and it will pop up this window so make sure to specify the number of steps that you want so drag it to the squares that we have before and adjust the size. Now we want to expand it, so we go to Object and click on Expand. We change the color of the last three triangles to a darker color. And with the eyedropper select the darkest brown color that you have and then click these two arrows to swap the pure color to stroke color. And then let's trace a, a line, a straight line here with the pen tool or press P on your keyboard and make another two lines from the corner to create like a small triangle and we're gonna grab these lines with the selection tool and we're gonna change the stroke weight of these lines to a higher point let's click maybe three points yeah that looks good and then we're gonna create the other two lines okay in order to create the shadows we're gonna grab this line and we're gonna duplicate it. So press Ctrl C and then Ctrl I. And then with the pen tool, we're gonna follow the same path and swap the pill color and the stroke color. And for the last part, we're gonna change the opacity color, maybe 50% on the transparency panel. Prepare the guide for you so you can create the apple shape very easily. We're gonna follow these points. If you don't know how to use the curvature tool, I have a tutorial and I will link it uh, on the description or you can find it up here on, on the screen as well. And then for the next step, we're gonna use uh, the pen tool. So we're gonna grab the white color and we're gonna create uh, this shape, just this triangle. And then we're gonna grab the anchor point tool. And we're gonna start playing with the shape. And then with the direct selection tool, you're gonna click on the center and it will give you these small circles. So you're gonna drag them to the center and reduce the opacity to 50%. So we have the first shape. And for the leaf, it's pretty easy. We're gonna use the curvature tool as well. So grab this color with the eyedropper. We're gonna grab the curvature tool and then create four points. And in the last one, you just double click. So it will create this shape. We're gonna do the same thing here. And at the end, just create a line with a pen tool and change the stroke to five points. Make a rectangle like this one and then rotate it a little bit and grab the curvature tool and create one point and drag it outside and then with the direct selection tool we're gonna drag this point up and then this one a little bit down to create the shadow we're gonna use the pen tool so we're gonna trace uh, outside of the banana that we just created 
So in order to see better, you can flip it to the stroke and then with the curvature tool, we're gonna flip and drag as well and change it back. Now select both shapes and click divide on the Pathfinder panel. Delete this shape and then create two squares like these ones. That's pretty much it for the banana. And for the veggie, just create three lines like this one and start using the curvature tool. You can follow the path that I provide on the, the guy. And that's pretty much it. And at the end, I play a little bit with the gradients so to give it more life to the the illustration and that was it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on my social media